like to take you back all the way to 1840. And we'll be in the southern half of Wisconsin where it was perfectly fertile and nutrient rich land. We had thousands and thousands of German immigrants settling in Wisconsin and what they did, what they did in the past in their homeland, which was wheat farming. Let me show you what that looks like. We have the wheat plant like this, and then it turns, we take the grain and we use that to make wheat and wheat flour. They had miles and miles of wheat farms and wheat plants all around Wisconsin, especially in the southern half, as I said. And what they did is they not only grew the wheat for their own families, but they grew so much that they could sell it to other people as well. And they sent it to Milwaukee so that they could ship it all around the world. Let's talk about Milwaukee for a second because Milwaukee was a very big part of the wheat farms in Wisconsin. Now we didn't have a lot of wheat farms near Milwaukee, but we had water. And with that water, we could ship the wheat or the grain or the flour all around the world. And so that was really important. So from about the 1840s and 50s to about the 1870s, Wisconsin was known as America's breadbasket. We were so successful that other states around us started looking to us for ideas of what to do. States like Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, or Michigan were looking to us to see, wow, how can we be just like them? So all of a sudden, we had competition from surrounding states, which was okay, except then we were producing so much wheat, we were harvesting twice a year, that the ground was starting to lose all of the nutrients. It was starting to not produce as much high quality wheat as we had done in the past. Okay, maybe that would have been all right, but then one more thing happened, and that was the chinch bug. And the chinch bug came and loved our Wisconsin wheat. Unfortunately, the chinch bug and the wheat did not do so well for the farmers. And so the farmers could not produce as much quality wheat to produce for the whole world. We still grew some, but we just weren't the, the nation's leading seller anymore. So what did the farmers do next? Did they just give up? We're gonna talk about that the next History at Home lesson when we talk about dairy farming. Have a great day.